All right, just a quick video. Um, it's just a concept that you may or may not know about. Um, and I have an oscilloscope here and I'm measuring a signal. The signal is coming from a function generator um, and it's square wave. And so I just have the grounds connected and the outputs connected. And I get a nice, uh, let's see here, change my camera so you can see it too. All right, so you get a nice, um, uh, a nice falling edge here, right? All right. Um, so uh, if I want to uh, use a different probe, all right, I'm going to come back and I'm going to connect my active probe and I'm going to connect it to the same, same circuit, same ground. All right. And so ideally those two will look exactly the same, right? And you can see here that there is a slight delay. Um, the official term for that is called skew. You might say it's a phase delay or something, but it's called skew. And uh, these two signals are happening at different times. Now you might encounter skew with two different scope probes. If maybe they're two different lengths, if you have a, a one meter probe and a five meter probe, one's gonna have some delay built in, right? Uh, we're talking about a 20, almost a 20 nan, we're at 20 nanoseconds per division. So it's almost a 20 nanosecond delay in this case, because uh, the blue trace is an active probe and it has to go through some circuitry and that's going to take some time. And so there is a difference between these two or a skew between these two. All right. It took me a while to find out, but most oscilloscopes have the ability to what's called de-skew. A lot of times de-skewing is done with a calibration tool um, and an external fixture. There's a whole bunch of ways to do uh, de-skewing, but some digital oscilloscopes have um, just an adjustment in the, uh, in the firmware. So on this particular scope, I'm going to go to the probe settings. And there's nothing here I can set offsets and gains and stuff and bandwidth and all that kind of stuff. But there's no skew adjustment here. But there's a, another a tab down here called probe. And probe allows you to calibrate the probe and set some other things. But it also has a skew offset right here. There's a skew. And you can set nanoseconds and picoseconds of skew, right? Um, and we saw that we can just kind of look here at the... Uh, divisions, uh, nanoseconds per division. We're about 20 nanoseconds to division. Okay. So let's put in 20 nanoseconds of skew. All right. And I'll come back and take a look at it. Um, and it's changed, but now it seems like it's on the wrong side. It's gone too far. All right. So that skew adjustment, uh, also has a little, uh, circle of arrows, a little green arrow that's going clockwise here. And that means that this actual uh, knob is active. It also has a green, a green little circle on it. Okay. And if I turn this, then that changes as well. Okay. Um, and so I can actually just kind of come out here and uh, I can now just change it by hand and I can change the skew. Now these two probes, uh, the yellow probe is a 500 megahertz probe and the blue one is a one gigahertz probe. So they're gonna have different fall times because one is a little, oops, one is a little bit slower than the other. I just pushed, grabbed the wrong, <laughs> I grabbed the wrong button. Uh, so let's zoom way in here, there we go. So I say that we set it so that's kind of there about about the halfway about the halfway mark is i think maybe there is about a good skew number okay and then when we come out um everything looks like it's on on track so let's go see how many nanoseconds that was uh it happens to be 11.8 skew 11.8 nanoseconds um and I, I don't know if that changes with temperature on an active probe or I, I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, that's the way you adjust your skew. And um, the other one probably has it as well. Probe, yeah, all of them have, 
all even the the uh, passive probes also have skew. Like I say, for different different lengths of, I mean, no two probes are going to be exactly the same length, right? And so you might want to adjust the skew, especially as your scope gets faster and faster and faster. You know, with a one gigahertz scope, you're going to be looking at, you know, this one will this one will go all the way to 500 picoseconds per division, right? And so um, it becomes your skew becomes critical to go adjust that. 